Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. That is a goddamn elephant. And the guys over on the Eagle Rising team are cooking up something absolutely spectacular. Before we get into that, though, I want to go ahead and give a massive shout out to today's sponsor. I want to give a massive thank you to today's sponsor, R -R Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is the greatest mobile game of all time. Raid has tons of champions with currently over 600 in the game. All of those champions come from unique factions, each with their own history in the world of Teleria. One of my favourite champions is Archmage Helmet. Archmages are tough to get. You can't get them from shards or fusions, only from entering the Doom Tower. But man, are they worth it. Not only does he fill up his own turn meter, he also stuns enemies and buffs your own special and normal team's damage. The next champion I really vibe with is Australian. Not only does this guy look incredible, but he destroys the arena mode. If Countess Lux is also on his team, he ramps up massively and does more attacks dealing legendary damage. Not only does he do all of this, but he also places a weakened debuff on all enemies who have perfect veal buffs and attacks all enemies on screen. So what's new in Raid this month? Raid has a ton going on, with a fresh rotation of brutal Hydra bosses and a ton of events and tournaments every single day, including some special Valentine's Day events, where you can get your hands on a brand new legendary champion. This is honestly the best time to get started in Raid, and if you click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen, you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $30. We're talking a free champion Vergus, 200 K silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and one ancient shard, so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. So yes, as you can see, elephants are coming. This is still very much an early access look at the elephants. They're very much work in progress. Uh, figuring out how exactly they'll work, getting them in the game is obviously a very long process, but it's amazing to see a few of these short clips of them actually in the campaign uh, and on the battle map as well. And I just can't wait. This is so exciting because once elephants are done, you know, it's really kind of like, you know, the sky is the limit and the modders are just doing such a good job uh, also massive thank you to the modder who is working on these for letting me show off these images to you guys because uh yeah it's really cool so what i thought i'd do in today's video is take a look at a few of the elephant uh, videos that the modder has been working on as well as taking a look at a few of the new updated carthage models because if you don't know an eagle rising carthage is on its way i doubt these elephants will make it in for that first carthage update however in the future i'm sure we'll start to see some elephant units uh because yeah like i oh my god this looks insane it looks so goddamn cool and again this is all modded uh, obviously we did see that little leak a while ago of the elephants from uh, tail world themselves possibly in a dlc however they they said that that's not something that they're immediately working on and it's just when the devs had a bit of spare time so this is completely different to that and it just looks absolutely amazing so let's take a look at the first proper clip again you guys have probably been watching these already but uh, i'll just play it for myself now as you can see uh, just an elephant uh, the guy goes up to him and just mounts up upon the elephant pretty handedly uh, the developers of eagle rising are also working on some cool elephant armor as well which i'll put on your screen right now looks really goddamn cool uh, and just kind of out Outfitting that will be absolutely awesome. The next clip we get is one of the soldiers actually mounted upon the elephant and kind of the animations of the elephant walking. Uh, besides, obviously, the horse sounds. Uh, it looks really, really clean. And uh, yeah, it's great to see the way that the elephant does move. Um, you know, it does look pretty standard. And that stuff will be cleaned up as well as we get further and further on. And these models become way more developed. Uh, then as we go on to the next clip, we're going to see the death animation for an elephant. So when it is taken down by a spear or a javelin. Um, and yeah, that, that looks absolutely fine. You know, really, really cool stuff to kind of kick ourselves off. You know, a slime it will kill and it falls down. Interesting to see if it will do any damage when it falls down or anything along them lines. The elephants themselves could really kind of add a whole other aspect into the game. I imagine they'll be extremely elite though. It'll be very hard to get an entire army of elephants or possibly you'll see them even taking up multiple slots on the party screen, for example. But that is, again, much further on down the line talking about how they're actually going to be implemented gameplay-wise. It's more so about getting them functionally in the game first before kind of going into their effects on the campaign itself so yeah we had the movement we had the uh, mounting of the elephant and we also had the uh, the death animations of the elephant and then finally we also have the elephant rider kind of just shooting off other elephants and you see a little bit more of them on the battlefield as well 
and the way they're moving with the archer fire coming off, and then also getting trampled by the elephants, which again, I think is really uh, standard uh, for Bannerlord as well. Bannerlord has a great setup of the uh, getting trampled by horses already, so you just kind of up the damage, maybe up the impact a little bit. Uh, not saying that's easy at all, uh, but you know, you can up them kind of statistics and kind of enhance them from a normal horse, and yeah, that works quite well. And the way that Bannerlord works with, with the hit registration, it makes actually attacking the elephant itself really viable because uh, with weapons they always go to the center of mass regardless of how tall or small you are so if you're fighting uh, someone who's really short you'll be aiming down on them and if you're fighting something really big like an elephant you will be kind of thrusting upwards your spear or your sword up towards them so that works absolutely perfectly for these elephants and it's yeah it's really cool to see them in so they are the four clips that we have of the elephants actually in the game so far i'm sure plenty more will come and the functionality will be way more i, I guess focused upon going forward uh, you know at the moment it's just more about getting the elephants in seeing how they work seeing what work needs to be done uh, before moving forward Super exciting stuff. So now let's move on to a little bit more of the Carthage update. Carthage is the next faction coming out for Eagle Rising. At the moment, they have the Romans who have just such a wide variety of units, armor, weapons, and all that stuff is getting improved as well in the next patch. They're adding in plenty of more updated armors, new armors, uh, and other weapons and fixes and stuff like that for the Romans. Uh, they also have the Ghouls, they have the uh, Scythians, and also Dacia. Again, I believe a few, like each of them factions are getting a few more things in this new Carthage update as well. Uh, and then Carthage itself, who have such a wide variety of units, armors, weapons. Like, I think they almost rival Rome for the amount of uh, custom equipment that they have. So let's take a look at one of the uh, flag bearers. These are absolutely amazing. The, the gifts are great. The armor, the, the flag bearers. It looks awesome. Like, I can't believe how uh, high quality these banners and armors and helmets actually are. I actually just physically can't wait to get my hands on them and their banners look incredible. Moving on now, you can see a bit of the uh, general armors. Again, these are going to be the super high tier armor pieces. There are also a lot of the lower tier armor pieces as well. But again, you guys probably don't want to see that more so the higher tiers. Um, not that the lower tiers are looking bad at all. Uh, they look really, really good. We also have, again, some of the walking animations with a banner on his back. That march animation looks incredible. And you get a little bit of a closer updated look at all the armor. Even that dagger on his side looks odd. Man, I can't believe how well they're done with Carthage. The, the detail uh, is just going to make Carthage definitely one of my favorite factions to play, if not my favorite faction to play. Uh, now we move on to some of the hoplites as well, kind of the more of the, uh, uh, the Punic Guard or whatever you want to call them. Um, these guys you can see that shield the, the spear animation as well uh, and then we take a look at a, a couple of the swords uh, also and just to reiterate back onto that spear uh, kind of how the hoplites will work I imagine there'll be it will be something along the lines of how they have currently have Pila and gladiuses to work at the moment if you're using a gladius if you press x you actually thrust forward and there's no way of like slashing with it if you're in that certain mode so I imagine a hoplite um, they'll get it to work something like along them lines as well uh, kind of a special mode where you press x and instead of uh, I mean again you only really thrust with a spear anyway but probably maybe some form of special mode where maybe it's overhanded or something something and that just does a bit more damage back on we also see some of the Furious spearmen that they'll have access to uh, a lighter uh, spear infantry will be able to get stuck in against the cavalry and a few different spear variations that they are also using um, which is also really, really impressive. So that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, just taking a look, I really wanted to make a quick video showing you guys the elephants because it's just so interesting and exciting and I can't wait to see the future of these elephants, how they get developed. Um, the, but the armor itself looks really good as well. They're working on, uh, you know, if you have, have like maybe a couple soldiers on an elephant, I don't know if that'd be something possible with the archers firing down, uh, you know, with uh, coming down the elephant itself doing a lot of damage, how are they going to interact with spears? Like if they charge a spear wall, are they going to get cut down? Uh, is it going to work similarly to how uh, they work in, um, you know, in, against cavalry now, but you can like pike brace and stuff? That's very exciting. You know, like, Bannerlord is a game that is always just going to get better and better the longer it goes on, not only with the base game, but also with the mods itself. So be sure to let me know what you guys thought of these elephants. Again, keep in mind, these are still very early concepts of them, uh, but still very cool nonetheless. And yeah, I definitely wanted to show them off to you guys. So make sure you drop a like and a comment down below, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.